Hey guys, Firecracker Sam here. Today I'm going to be doing a nice little demo for you on how to put together Quick Match. Now, up until last week, I thought Quick Match was off limits. I thought it was 1.3 and I couldn't touch it. Then I found out Victory Fireworks makes a brand of Quick Match called Vulcan that is not 1.3 and not regulated. So, got my hands on some, and uh, I'll be using it to do a mind front in my show this year. And uh, right now I'm just trying to master getting it fused together, or put together. And we have two types of connections here. I'm not sure what, they both took me about the same time, but that's because I've never done them before. I'm thinking this one's gonna be quicker. But, first type of connection, you cut the, the paper here, expose the black mash, then you take your non-sparking all, or molly poke, made by Wild Willy and pieinthesky.com, make a slight incision on the one you're connecting it to, put the black mash in, tape over, done. But, this one, it sounds a little simpler, but again, it took me about the same time. So uh, you take one piece of quick mesh, another, put it on top of each other, tape it around once. Then you take your lollipop, and it's easy since I'm on a table with holes. Poke a bunch of holes in it, so it go the, so the uh, both sides are there's holes in both sides, so the fire can reach each other or the other side. You know what I'm saying? And tape over it again, so you don't see any holes. But that's because there's two layers of tape. You tape once, poke holes, and then tape over again. So uh, I got those right here. And of course, with the with this one, where you plug the black match in, this side plugs the black match into this side, because you always want the fire to burn into it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So got a nice piece of quick match right here. And again, quick match burns. It's 60 feet per second. It literally explodes. It just, it burns really, really, really fast. So, and it can be a pain to work with, but and it's necessary for me, so. And again, Wild Willy non-sparking scissors, not regular scissors. Cut one piece. And we'll cut another. Now we're going to show you the first method. Okay. Go like that. Just going to cut the paper back slightly. Fold it out. Expose the black match. Okay. That's the easy part. Now, this is the part I'm still mastering. Take your lollipop, well, like and of course, if you wanted to just connect two pieces like this, you could easily just plug this back in over here, see? But we don't want to do that. What I'm going to be doing for the mine front, it's going to be one long piece of QM, and then uh, these, I'm going to I'm going to replace the visco on the shells with quick match, or the mines, and, um, and just go into it like, like this, and then another one here, and another one here going all the way down the leader, so, anyway, and you need to be careful with this light poke because it is really, really sharp, and you want to cut an incision all the way down to the black mash, and this, I believe, is waterproof, so, um, it's a little harder to cut through. There we go. Just like that. Mm. Nah. 
Maybe we need to make the hole a little bigger. It does not want to go in. Let's see. Hopefully that should work. There we go. There we go. Okay. Get some tape. And uh, another thing I learned, I asked this question, and thankfully they told me, um, you want to make your connections with tape, not zip ties. The zip ties will cause too much compression, and it'll kind of destroy the point of it being very fast. Now, usually, I mean, I, I don't even think it matters that much, but we want the fire, again, we, it plugs in here, so we want the fire to burn into this, right? So the leader will be starting here. So we're gonna cut off a nice piece of slow visco. And again, you don't wanna light this by hand. It burns extremely fast. You need to put some visco on it and back up. Now, I'm not even going to bother taping it, so all you need to do is just put it in here and it will catch fire, guaranteed. There we go. Uh -huh. First one done. Let's put that with the other one, too. I think it's. And this is, yeah, this is the, um, the one we poked holes in. So, now, now we're going to do the poking holes. Right? Put, put one, just wrap the tape around once. Does not need to be tight or anything. Now, if you don't poke these holes, it may work, but I doubt it. Like when I tested it out last night, the, for the most part, the fire burns inside this. So if you just put them together like this, it probably won't ignite. Because I think it's because of the waterproof coating. Anyway, now. Straight through. Just put a few nice holes in there. Pound it. The two big ones and then pound the rest. And if you don't understand what this is doing, this stuff burns really hot and the fire just goes everywhere. So the fire burns from this one through the hole made here into this hole ignites this black match and continues just poke this one all the way through yeah and that looks pretty messy right it's probably gonna ignite because <laughs> this stuff does not take much to ignite but we have to make sure the fire gets contained and really ignites, so we tape it over one more time. There we go. And uh, it does not matter which way the visco or which way it's burning, so. We'll just put it on this side. There you go. Okay. Right. Now uh, I'm gonna set this up and we'll we'll demo it. Okay, guys, we got all four pieces, and these two right here are the ones we poked holes through, and these two are the ones we just inserted the black mash into the other. Okay. Right. 
again, you need Visco on this. You don't want to light it by exactly, or you don't want to light the quick match because it burns really fast. Oh, turn my torch on. Right, there's the first one. Okay, so uh, this camera just ran out of space, so I had to restart the video. But I pulled the last quick match and it burned all the way through. See? Kind of hard to see, it's not high definition. But it did burn all the way through, and as you saw, it rocketed because it's a lot of power. So, and we're gonna light the second piece. This one I'm a little worried about because I didn't do as good of a job as that one, but uh. See what happens. Damn. See? Told you. That stuff burns fast. And you know what? Crap. It burned the other <laughs> it burned the other piece. Damn it. This is not a um let's see. So this is the piece that I lit. I think, and this stuff throws a lot of, uh, it just throws off a lot of sparks, so, I should have known that was coming, and see, look at all this smoking crap around here, luckily I'll be lighting this in the desert, so there's nothing to burn, anyway, it did burn all the way through, and here's our second piece, oh, yes, yeah, Wait, is that our second piece? No, that's not our second piece. This has got to be it. Yeah, that's it. There you go. So, uh, it was right next to it. And, look. It lit from the other side and it actually blew the visco that was in it straight out of it. Wow. It, wow. I did not think that would happen. Well, leave it to me. I'm a noob. Anyway. So, you've seen that that can now light too. And be careful with your cue. Okay. Now I'm gonna light this last piece, and there's nothing else for it to light, so that's good. Ready? Wow, that was even faster. There you go. And it burned all the way through. Oh look, I think those are the strands of a. Uh, of BP that were in there, and well, not the actual strands, but cotton, the cotton pieces. Anyway, you've seen that both ways work. Every single way burned through, and uh, I'll probably have to do a demo showing you how to do quick match to um, to Visco, because as you saw, the unsecure Visco connection and the one that accidentally lit did not light. It just you can find it again. It just blew it straight out. So, uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Have a great fourth. Firecracker Sam.